Hey girl, welcome to Quick Takes with the Bliss Code podcast. This is where I do little nuggets that I think of during the week that just take about five minutes to consider. One of the things that I want to consider this week is our mindset when it comes to electronic messages, be it emails, text messages, or comments under your social media. The way that you perceive the tone of the other person can have a huge effect on your life. You can choose A, to see everyone's electronic message for the good that it may be, or B, you can assign your own meaning to it, which may end up having a negative connotation. What does this mean for your everyday life? Well, it means sometimes getting flustered with the tone of conversations. But you have to remember that you never even heard the person's tone on the other end. Now you can assume all you want and say, oh, I know this person. I know their intentions. I know what they meant. Look at how they wrote that. Or you can flip the script and just think, that everyone in this world could have good intentions. And maybe, just maybe, they're overthinking their messages just as much as you are. For example, I listened to another podcaster who mentioned that someone came into her comments and said she had found her on another social media platform and then she got to this one and wow, mind blown. Now these weren't the exact words, but the idea was that the podcaster I was listening to had it in her mind that this was a negative message and the person was disappointed by the fact that they found them on another platform and then came here and it was different. When she could have chosen to get excited because the person was actually even more thrilled to find out how great the information was on the second social media platform as well. She doesn't know this person, never spoke to this person, and actually ended up blocking this person. Now, I don't blame her because everyone is their own person and perceives things differently. And I'm never going to judge you for making the decisions that you make based on the feelings that you have. But I'm going to tell you, your life will start changing around for the better if you at least pretend in your mind that everyone that you communicate with digitally has the best of intentions on the other side. Here's another example. Let's say you got an email from a coworker or someone that you were working on a project with and they expressed disappointment that you all weren't on the same page when working on the project with some ideas that were different between the goals that both of you had. You can choose to get upset about the email and think, wow, the nerve of that person to question my decisions or you can turn it around and think well this person on the other end may be thinking well wow where did I go wrong I can't wait for us to get back on the same page put the other person on the same pedestal that you put yourself on and give everyone the benefit of the doubt if you try this out for a week you may see some drastic changes in the way you perceive your reality. This has been a quick take with the Bliss Code Podcast.